This is a goiter. You have probably seen this before in different people, whether it's on TV or in real life, maybe even with family or friends. It's an enlarged thyroid gland. You literally here see how the neck is enlarged. One of the things about this goiter is that it can be due to many different causes, but thyroid disease can also cause it. Now, one thing you should know is that the most common cause of goiter uh, in the world is an iodine deficiency. However, in this country, we oftentimes see a goiter as a result of thyroid disease, namely Graves' disease, or um, a common cause of hyperthyroidism. That is when someone has too much thyroid hormone in their body. It can also happen if somebody has an underactive thyroid as well. Now, the goiter basically means enlarged thyroid, as you can see, and it does get more complex than this. Sometimes people have nodules, sometimes they don't. It, it, the list goes on and on, but understand, if you or someone you know has an enlarged thyroid or an enlarged neck like this, you got to see your doctor right away. It could be a sign of thyroid disease. I also want you to write down below, do you have thyroid disease? And how did you know that something may not be right that prompted you to see your doctor? This next one is called exophthalmus. Um, I've recently seen TV commercials where they refer to it as thyroid eye disease. It's like someone's eyes looks like they're literally bulging almost out of their head. Um, as a physician, I have to be honest, sometimes I've been at different events and I've seen someone's eyes kind of look like this. And in my mind, I've thought, you know, I hope they're seeing their doctor. Now, exophthalmus is this bulging of our eyes. It can be caused by a number of different things, tumors and all sorts of stuff but it can also be caused by thyroid disease. And of the different types of thyroid disease, we will often see it more commonly in hyperthyroidism or an overactive thyroid uh, a gland or overactive thyroid disease. No matter what though, if you see these eyes on some, someone that you know, love or see around, they need to be seeing their doctor. Now let's go back. Uh, by the way, I'm Dr. Jen, it's good to see you. We're talking about physical signs of thyroid disease that you might or might not have known about. Remember that the thyroid gland sits right about here. It's a butterfly shaped gland and guys, it is like the engine of our body. It does everything. If your thyroid is not pro functioning properly, you may feel hot or cold or lose weight or gain weight and so much more. In fact, some of these things we're talking about in this video. Now I'm just gonna delineate two things for you, an underactive and an overactive thyroid. We call underactive thyroid hypothyroidism, overactive thyroid hyperthyroidism. Underactive, you don't have enough thyroid hormone. Overactive, you have too much. And I'm going to link here videos specifically on hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism, additional signs and symptoms you can see and a little bit more about those conditions. But let's go back to the physical signs that we are talking about today. Let's talk about a puffy face. Okay, you see somebody with a puffy face. Maybe it looks like a moon face or something like that, sort of a round puffy face. Now, let me be clear. You can have a puffy slash moon face for a lot of different reasons. It could be that you have a adrenal disease, adrenal gland disease, or you have too much cortisol, or there's other conditions. But one of the reasons for a puffy sort of bloated looking face could be an underactive thyroid. And by the way, it doesn't just have to be a puffy face. It could also be puffy hands, puffy feet, sort of swelling in general. So keep that in mind. I hope I'm giving you this idea that if you have any of these or you see any of these, you need to be seeing your doctor right away. Let's move on to another condition. You might not have heard about this. It's called pretibial myxedema. Okay. Also called Graves' dermopathy. This often can happen in the lower legs. The lower legs can develop shine. It can happen in other places too, but we're talking about the lower legs in particular here. You can get shiny skin. Um, again, often the shins. It can be lumpy, almost like an orange peel consistency. Kind of like what you see here. Um, this can happen as a result of thyroid disease, in particular in overactive thyroid disease due to hyperthyroidism. However, it could happen if you have an underactive thyroid as well, but it is most commonly in an overactive thyroid. You see how the thyroid really controls everything in our body? And I'm not even giving you all the symptoms, okay? Remember, I'm giving you some of the ones that we see uh, on our body. Let's talk about hair. Hair, 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 hair. You can get thinning hair, actually from both an underactive or 
an underactive thyroid. It's one of the reasons why when you're dealing with your symptoms at home, you're taking stock of what's going on, whether you feel bloated, hair is thinning, you feel tired, your mood is changing. I don't care what it is. This is a reason to see your doctor because, guys, you're not going to be able to check for your thyroid at home. You're not going to be able to run lab work and run labs to rule out certain underlying conditions that could be causing these things at home. Remember, not everything you have can be treated at home. And thyroid disease is one of those that cannot be picked up at home or treated at home. You can suspect it, and some of these things hopefully will give you that idea. So thinning hair. Thinning hair can be due to a ton of different things. Genetics, uh, hair care products you're using, blah, 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 a lot of things. But an overactive or an underactive thyroid can cause thinning hair. And by the way, people who come to me with hair shedding, um, one of the first things I'm doing is checking a thyroid. This is a very common thing that needs to be checked for. Moving on, carpal tunnel. I know y'all are like, what in the world does carpal tunnel have to do? Carpal tunnel causes uh, numbness and tingling, okay? Usually uh, along uh, one of the nerves here, we get this distribution of numbness and tingling. You can get sort of feel like you have to wring out your hands, especially repetitive, repetitive movements, all sorts of stuff, okay? Um, the thing about carpal tunnel is there could be a number of things that can trigger it or bring it on, like pregnancy can, other conditions, but also an underactive thyroid can cause some people to experience carpal tunnel, okay? So I, I can I can tell you that, you know, look, in every case of carpal tunnel, are we checking for a thyroid? Not necessarily, but I'll be honest with you, oftentimes people with thyroid disease don't just have one symptom, okay? So it's the constellation, it's the whole picture that we are putting together, all right? Um, and the next one that I think is super important to talk about is our skin largest organ of our body, right? What changes with our skin when we deal with thyroid disease? Well, let's talk about underactive thyroid first. With an underactive thyroid, your skin bec can become dry. Your nails can become brittle. Your skin can just feel dry and cracked and just not great at all. And of course, the brittle nails. What happens with an overactive thyroid to, for many people? Well, you can actually get sweaty, clammy, feel like you're just, ugh, okay? And remember, an overactive thyroid means too much hormone, underactive, not enough thyroid hormone. It's gonna be really important for me that you take a look at some of the other videos that I have specifically on hypo and hyperthyroidism because I want you to see more of a full, complete picture of the symptoms. You need to know this. I also want you to write down below, do you have thyroid disease? And how did you know that something may not be right that prompted you to see your doctor? Let me know, write that in the comments. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. Please share this video with other people. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Please follow me on Facebook. I'm also on TikTok, LinkedIn, uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, threads, you name it. Please follow me on all of those platforms. And also, please go to my website. I have my um, free weekly health newsletter at drjencaudill.com. Please sign up for it. I would love to see you. All right, guys, make sure you follow me. Follow, follow along. I'm, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Daily videos. <laughs> okay, guys.